guys, welcome to The Gun Shop with me, John. And me, Cameron. Today, we're doing another cheap gun versus expensive gun. What have you got, Cam? I've got a Felix Sarsgetta. Very nice. To some people. Yeah, well, tell us more about it. Um, well, it's a 100 pound shotgun. Standard grade one wood. And simple engraving, 20 inch barrels. Engraving, actually. I've been looking at the engraving. I quite like it. It's not bad. It's simple, but yeah, it's nice. It's not hideous. Sorry, carry on. Um, thick chokes, 20 inch barrels. Okay. Just a cheap rough gun. Double trigger, non ejector double, special. Yeah. Got to love a double trigger over and under. Especially without ejectors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And maybe we are gun snobs, so hey. And on the expensive side, we have this. This retails brand new, I think just below £3,000 at the moment. This is a Caesar Guarini Magnus Sporting. Pistol grip, grade three, four wood. Multi-choke barrels, not that makes much of a difference, but they are backboard. Like modified and improved modified, that should dust them well enough. Um, they're backboard and they've got elongated forcing cones. It's got a nicer rib, it's got a double bead sight. And generally, the engineering quality is gonna be much better than that. But we're here to shoot them for you and uh, see how we get on. So without further ado, let's uh, go pull the trigger. Yep. This is a Felix Sarasquita. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it's actually quite pretty. <laughs> You hit one. For being in the scrap bin, it's not, it's not bad. It goes bang. Like it, baby. <laughs> It kills the clothes, just to say, but you know, everything from that moment you close the gun, you've got confidence in your ability. I say confidence. And yes, this is a sport, and I suppose technically that's a game gun. We know that. But these are not hard clays. Oh. <laughs> and a clay and a pheasant are basically the same thing. It's a flying yeah, movement fly in the, the sky, and you have to connect with it, kill it. If we were shooting serious clays, this would have a massive advantage. And even then, a good gun will have an advantage over a bad gun on hard targets because it's smoother, nicer, and you can be more confident in it. Ready? Yep. Cheap gun. Pull! It's fast, mate. It is fast. Like, it hurts. It physically... It does hurt a lot. It, it hurts everywhere. and Because it's it's not even light. It just... It hurts. It really hurts. That stock looks like it's off an old air rifle. It's all not. You know, actually, it's not horrible. If you stripped it back and oiled it and put a bit of red in there, it would look quite nice. See, the rust makes it lightweight. Right, now the rust is streamlining. <laughs> Pull. Now, right, so we're starting with the nice gun this time. In this stand, this is stand four, a couple of left to right loopers, or a left to right looper and a left to right crosser, both high and fast targets. Because it wouldn't be fair if we start with the cheat gun every time, because then we wouldn't be used to the clays. I don't know where they're coming from. Pull! Wow. Thanks. Pull! How to shoot a looper by the gun shop. What you're doing is this. What you want to do, like, again, shorten yourself 
turn yourself into targets you're using your body's elasticity or something like this to speed you up because it's not the killing zone small for a fast target right get the gun hold the gun to bear small straight push not right. get the gun on target start it moving see the target get on the target push the target bang One for one, mate. Ready? Pull. Not enough. Get in front of it more. Behind it again. Ah. Oh. All right. So can fail to hit that looper every time with the greenie. So oh. we're going to move on to a lighter gun, which is considerably cheaper. Keep that going. Pull. Oh, the bird. Go again. Is that a different one? No, no, it's a no bird. Oh, okay. Go again. Oh. Over the top, over the top of that. So. Oh. The idea, mate. Bang. Yeah, in front of it. If it was a pheasant, you'd kill it. If it was a pigeon, you'd kill it. Stick it out in front of it and pull the trigger. Don't think too much, because you, you don't have time. Pull. Alright. Pull. Ah. So if by magic I hit that target every time with the Cici Garini. With this, actually, uh, what I would call a fairly testing target, this gun just lets itself down and it's Pointability. Pull! The whole thing just feels a bit um, out of control. It's not, it's wand like, but not in a nice way. Pull! Pull! So it's straight driven clay, mate, it's easy. Okay. Oh. Kill it earlier. You wearing your plugs? Yeah. Good. Go. So you've seen us shoot both of these guns at multiple targets. Um, yeah. Uh, and in conclusion, uh, what have we learned today? Uh, for shorter people like me, and to shoot 28s, I quite prefer sticking to a 28 inch barrel. Yeah. You know, it's your shooting style is. It doesn't really suit this heavier, heavier gun. I don't think. Yeah, it's hard to change to get used to something else. AKA, you can miss with any gun. I mean, that's how we sum this one up. You can miss with this, you can miss with this. However, you look more stylish missing with this. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, that is something, it certainly looks a lot nicer. More to the point, it's nicer to shoot. You know, it's smoother to shoot, there's less recoil. You could practice all day long with that and not feel sick, sad, or upset, right? No. Whereas with this, you'd know about it. Yeah, it kicks you quite a lot, that one. Yeah. It's quite pretty. Might just be fitment, really. Just I don't I don't think any amount of fitting is going to make it shoot smoothly, you know. Good quality barrels sure will shoot smoother. These will be backboard and have uh, longer forcing cones and everything. The barrels here will make a lot of difference. The overall weight isn't that much different. Probably mm. about half a pound. 
the soft pad helps, but you know, even then, it hurts your jaw, your face, everything, and it doesn't fit badly by, by my standards. It's way too short, but the actual dimensions in the drop aren't too bad. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're always gonna go for that one. Of course, it's quite obvious. If you said to someone, would you rather have the cheaper under 500 pound shotgun or the nearly 3,000 pound shotgun? <laughs> this is 100 pounds. Exactly under 500. Yeah, this is under 101 pounds. <laughs> you yeah. could have 30 of these for one of those. But why would you? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You know, in our usual biased way, of course you're gonna like the nice gun. However, I think we've proved once again that it doesn't make much of a difference what you spend on the gun. If you put it in the right place, it breaks the glaze. Um, and in certain instances, actually, the characteristics of this gun, the lightness and the, the, the front end certainly make all the difference. Yeah, it was the difference between me hitting it with that one and then missing all of them with this one. Yeah, you're just miles behind it. Miles behind it. You can push real easy with this, whereas with that, I think you struggle not with the weight, but your muscle memory is built for a smaller gun, for a much smaller gun. And you know, the double trigger isn't that bad. It's, yeah, you get As long as you remember easily, it's yeah. there. My real gripe is the non-ejector. I think it's just a damn hassle. Yeah. Not that you don't catch the cartridges out of an ejector, so it's a bit of a ridiculous thing to say you want an ejector, but at the same time, I catch them. I can put them in the bin as opposed to have to... Yeah, that kind of just messes with my chi, my shooting chi. Cheap gun versus expensive gun. But buy an expensive gun if you can afford it. If, if you've got a budget, just go for the maximum, really. You're always going to get yeah. more for your money. However, the shotgun is a crude tool, so if it's all about needing a gun, don't feel like you need an expensive gun. It's nice. You know, it's it not horrible. Job. It's a yeah. lot nicer than the bakel that we shot in the last video. <laughs> yeah. A lot nicer. Hmm. They, they all do the same job. It's just how much you want to... So does a car, like we said. Yeah. It's yeah. How much do you want to put into the gun? You do get more for your money. Yeah. I mean, if they look the same, this outshoots this. As it is, you're going to be paying an extra bit for the looks and engraving <laughs> and the nice wood and the good that. But what you're paying for is a gun that shoots better as well. You know, all these people go, all you're paying for is wooden engraving. You're not necessarily. No, you're not. I like it. You know, it's cute and scrappy. Yeah. It's like a terrier. You hate it, but you got to have one. Hey, anyway, hey. Let us know what you think. As always, we'll be wrong, and the cheap guns are much better than more expensive guns. But uh, I like it when you tell us. So take care, guys. <laughs> see and we'll you see you next time.